Well, it's been uh, a challenging week, I think is the appropriate word to say. First of all, the van failed its MOT miserably. The whole bill came to nearly a thousand pounds, which was uh, the biggest garage bill I think I've ever had. So I was a little bit uh, disappointed with that, but never mind, that's, uh, the van's all fixed again now. Now originally I was going to buy a new van this year. I've got the van fund sort of, you know, it's up to scratch, it's ready to go, but I kind of want to hang in there with another year on this van because I want to see what's happening with the economy. What I don't want to do is plough loads of money into a brand new van only to find, you know, the economy go to the wall and I end up with this big shiny metal box on my driveway that I can't do anything with because I've got no money. So I'm going to kind of play things a little bit uh, safely at the moment. I, I have also been pondering on um, investing the van fund into silver, just kind of locking it away into silver for a little while. But I don't know whether I'll do that or not. I'll, I'll, uh, I'll see. I think it might be a, a, a good move, but there again, it's when you invest in anything, it's a, it's a risk. So um, I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do with that yet. So anyway, that was the first bit of bad news. And then as soon as I got the van back, which was a week later, it took a week to get the van back, uh, I just went straight down to the allotment to check on those big blue tarpaulins that I laid on the ground because we've had some really high winds around here and gales. I was half expecting to have to go and fetch them from the next county. But fortunately, the tarpaulins stayed put and they were exactly how I left them. So I was well chuffed with that. And then I turned round and caught a glimpse of the shed. <laughs> Both of the doors had blown in and they, were, they are completely bent up, completely beyond repair. So I now have a shed with a gaping great big hole in it. So what I'm doing today, I'm just on my way to the allotment now and uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to measure up the hole. I was going to bring all my tools out here to the allotment and, uh, and kind of build some new doors uh, on the site sort of thing. But I thought, well hang on a minute, why don't I just um, measure up the size of the hole and then make the doors at home because obviously I've got access to my power tools and everything so I should be able to do the job a lot quicker. So that's the plan. So I'm here at the allotment and I will just pop in, measure up my shed, come straight back out again and then go home and make some doors. At least that's the plan. So like I say, all in all, a bit of a challenging week but uh, hopefully uh, things will get better from here forward. So that was it for my quick little video log. Um, hope you guys are all doing well. And uh, no doubt I will be making a, another video log, uh, probably an allotment video log, shortly uh, when I make these doors. So I'll sign off for this one. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next video.